Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a student at SOAS University of London here on an internship. My host company is YMCA Vietnam and I'm a project associate intern. Hi, my name is Wesley Poland. I am a student from the University of Oregon in Eugene and I am a project associate intern at YMCA Vietnam um, on a two-month internship. I chose to do an international internship because I um, wanted to get out of the house a little bit. Um, I wanted to uh, get a chance to really learn some, some uh, more difficult in-person intercultural communication and um, possibly learn a little bit of a new language. Now, I'm not very good at Vietnamese yet, but it has uh, helped me slightly kind of, um, you know, open my horizons a little bit. and. Uh, I also um, knew that I wanted to come to Vietnam for a long time, so this was a perfect opportunity to do that and build my resume at the same time. Um, I've never been to Asia before, so this was a huge opportunity in itself to come to a country experience, the culture. Um, Vietnam itself is a beautiful country, um, and there was so much to see, so I was excited to not only come to the country and travel whilst working, but also to understand why we're going to be a tourist in a country to understand how it is to work a job here, um, experience that lifestyle, um, which I feel I have done and it's been a whole experience in itself. Um, and also just to learn more in terms of a different culture, how things work here and how the workplace differs as opposed to in domestic organisation factor. Wednesday is a social enterprises that aims to help the youth of Vietnam to know more about how they can uh, raise, your, raise their health awareness and uh, increase their uh, education. And uh, we have uh, three goals, which is one is uh, to uh, develop the infra infrastructures and also the facilities for the students. And the second is raise the health awareness, like I said before. And the third one is we want to give them the proper education so that they could have more chance to like know more about how to help the community back here. Uh, thanks to Wesley and Sarah because uh, with the support, we are uh, successful. We uh, organized the first stage recruitment of Rana 2022. So uh, with 25 proposals, uh, improving the uh, social innovations, and also they additionally they uh, create the uh, learning materials for up training. That is the uh, English course for the uh, unprivileged children in the rural area. I think that the biggest lesson I learned here at this internship was definitely uh, self-time management. I think that while it is somewhat similar to uh, studying and um, you know sort of time management with homework and whatnot, I think that, that this, especially with the professional environment and the kind of stakes and the impact that it has on other people, um, made me really respect the seriousness of it and the implications that it has beyond uh, myself and and uh, and the impacts it has just on me, but also understanding uh, how it's going to be help how it's going to help the underprivileged, underserved um, rural communities in Vietnam, and how we can help uh, uh, increase development with the 22 or excuse me the um, 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and that's one of the main focuses of YMCA, and so. Um, sort of being a part of that and, and um, being able to, uh, to, to sort of understand the seriousness of it and, and, and uh, develop my, my skill set as a worker um, all in the same time is, uh, is, it makes me understand the seriousness and the impact of it. I really enjoyed being involved with the community here in Ho Chi Minh. Um, we not only got to talk to people through our work relationships but we also had the opportunity to visit orphanages, to go to charity kitchens and meet people from different backgrounds so it was very humbling and it made me reflect on my privileges and 
once again just helped with self-development as a person. So yeah. It's a great uh, time together because uh, we can like know about the country, about the US country and UK too. Uh, when they're sharing about that, we can know more, exchange culture, exchange language, and exchange the, the knowledge too. And also we can like uh, to let them know more about Wednesday Vietnam, about what our mission, our vision, vision, and uh, to let them spread out the that mission and uh, vision to the others one. I would love to come back to Vietnam. Um, if I'm given the opportunity to work here again, um, I uh, would love to do that. I would have to talk to my wife about it and see if she'd be okay with it. But um, but I personally would absolutely love to work here. I think that this is um, an excellent place, uh, an excellent work environment. I think that the, the culture is fascinating. Um, I think the people in Vietnam are extremely friendly and really welcoming. And um, I also love to learn the language. So uh, if I'm ever given the opportunity, and I'll talk to my wife about it, um, <laughs> then, uh, then yeah, I'd love to come back and work here. Yeah, likewise, I would love to come back to Vietnam. I feel we've had a placement and worked in the city, but we've also met loads of people from different places in Vietnam, and talking to them and learning about their hometowns, it makes me want to go see those places and explore more places in Vietnam for sure. Um, so if I did get an opportunity, I would push 100%.